you don't know a damn thing, go back to China where you belong. A disturbing encounter caught on camera in the middle of a parking lot. You crossed the line. I crossed the line. China lady. The video shows two cars with their front bumpers touching. The woman targeted in the tirade says she just finished shopping with her three-year-old daughter. She just asked where uh, I'm coming from. I said, this is not the point. I think the thing is that we got an accident here. But she just, you know, refused to listen to me and started yelling. I was so mad because, you know, uh, my, my kid was frightened. The confrontation happened in this strip mall parking lot. CBC News spoke with the woman seen yelling in the video. She refused an interview but says she makes no apologies for her comments and doesn't regret the language she used. Now, as for RCMP, they confirm they are investigating, but they won't specify what possible charges could be laid. So the Supreme Court of Canada has ruled in a number of cases about what constitutes hate speech. Kyla Lee is a criminal lawyer. She says hate crime charges are possible, but not common in cases like this. So they have to prove in these cases that the person made the speech in order to incite or promote hatred, which means that it has to be more of a public expression. So private discourse between individuals doesn't necessarily rise to the level of hate speech. Charges of causing a disturbance could be considered as well. But there's another group of people that could also be in legal trouble. This follows a predictable pattern. The video has prompted thousands of social media comments naming and shaming the woman, some publicly posting her personal information as soon as you say, here's this person's address, here's this person's phone number, it's foreseeable that others are going to use that information to either cause harm or to cause distress. And you could be charged with counseling people to commit a criminal offense. Others who've gone so far as to post death threats on the woman's Facebook page could be charged too. Ultimately, Lee says it's likely there would be charges related to the response far sooner than charges related to the incident itself. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Richmond.